Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading from the 30th of March to the 5th of April 2020 for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you're well Capricorn. So I'm just pulling an overarching tarot card. This is the Tarot of Dreams by Marchetti. You know how I like my Marchetti decks by now Capricorn. <laughs> So what do we have for Capricorn, please? Message for Capricorn. And, you know, I will take into account the wider energies too, what we're all going through collectively, but I'm still focusing on the individual messages too, Capricorn. So let's see what we get. What is the message for Capricorn, please? Message for Capricorn. Oh yes, lovely. It doesn't surprise me, this Capricorn. You know, we have the card of strength. Now, the strength card, it's a card of Leo. So sometimes it can symbolize a Leo being in your life. But the strength card is about your inner strength, connecting to your inner strength, your inner power, in order to overcome any fear or doubt or challenge in your external environment. And there is a lot of fear collectively, isn't there? There's a lot of media hype as well, which I'm not sure is great. <laughs> um, you know, and it's kind of fueling the fear in some respects. Listen, there are things beyond our control. But you, amongst everybody actually, you understand how to work with in your Saturnian energy. Saturn is your ruler. So you understand how to turn things to your advantage, grow within the confines of restriction, tests, challenge and overcome them. So it is a powerful card of also being in your power right now, Capricorn, if you allow yourself to overcome the fear and doubt and uncertainty. Might be on an individual level to do with individual challenges, might be to do with the collective as well, but I love this card for you because, yeah, it absolutely goes with Saturn being your ruler. Okay, what is the energy for Capricorn, please? What is the energy for Capricorn? Yeah, and some of you are healing. You are overcoming an individual challenge. You are reconnecting to your power this week. You may well feel more in control. You may well feel uh, stronger from within. You know, the strength card is a core cool strength from within. I feel, you know, this is finding restoration in your power. Having gone through maybe a personal challenge of your own, that could be in relationships, that could be to do with money, could be to do with career. You know, people's careers are all up in arms at the moment. Um, it could be all of those challenges, but like I said, you understand how to work within these confines that we're all working to. Okay, angels, what is the message, please, for Capricorn? Message for our lovely Capricorns, please. Yeah, you see, <laughs> it is perfect timing for you to be in your power now, to come into your own. Yeah. I don't really need to say any more on that, do I? Because it kind of says it all. You are in your power. Or soon will be, Capricorn. Okay. So, she says, as I pull the satin card, the world. Okay. So, I pull five cards, as always, Capricorn. The first card is your past position. Then we have your present, your challenge, advice from spirit and outcome. And then we will pull clarifying cards to go deeper into the message. And I do put the cards in categories, but invariably some of you are at different life stages. So sometimes it's the messages that matter more. So what do we have, Angel Spirits Guides, for Capricorn, please? 30th of March to the 5th of April, 2020. What is the message for Cap? Too many, too many, but I will take the one that's turned up. Um, because, you know, it turned up on the table, so I'm going to go with that. We've got the Ace of Cups. Okay, Capricorn. So, the Seven of Cups is your present position. Your challenge, Capricorn, we have the Three of Cups. 
Yeah, advice from Spirit, we have the Tower. That doesn't surprise me. I'm kind of expecting to see the Hanged Man, the Tower, quite a bit this week. Collectively, we are going through a bit of a Tower moment. Might be on an individual level for you as well. And the Eight of Swords is bottom of the deck. But I am going to get clarifiers. So... What do we have for Capricorn, please? Angel Spirits Guide. Can we get clarifiers on the table for Capricorn? 30th of March to the 5th of April 2020. Thank you. Temperance. Oh, interesting. Seven of Cups um, is clarified by the Two of Cups. Now, the Three of Cups is clarified by Death. The Tower card is clarified by the Ten of Wands. And the Eight of Swords, yeah, you see, is clarified by the Sun. Divine Energy. Beautiful. You see, the Knight of Swords comes after. And this kind of makes sense. Okay, Capricorn. So we have the Ace of Cups and the card of Temperance, the card of Sagittarius. Now, a Sagittarius could be offering you something, something that brings you joy, happiness, could be love, friendship, an opportunity maybe. Um, as the energies go, the Temperance card is about finding balance, making peace with situations. It's a wonderful card of when we feel extreme emotions from within that can pull us apart, and we are feeling that right now, aren't we? Um, collectively, there is a bit of that going on. Um, the Temperance card, you see, it, sometimes there's a cup of fire, sometimes there's a cup of water. And when they m are mixed together, they cancel each other out to create a rainbow or steam. It's depicted in various ways on different cards. It is saying that something positive comes when you find balance from within, when you reconcile differences within you that allows you to open up to new opportunities to flow forward as well and um, there's learning to be had when the temperance appears a higher learning and um, understanding what's gone making sense of what's gone and um, allows you and guides you to open up to moving forward in the direction that you're taking as well capricorn so it's a beautiful energy of suddenly finding the higher truth in everything and for some of you, the Ace of Cups is a beautiful energy because this is the hand of God, the Divine. And first and foremost, you are the vessel and God, the Universe, the Divine is pouring love into you, love and light. And it's interesting that you've got the Ace of Cups at the beginning and the Sun at the end because it's pure Divine energy being shone on you right now, being poured into you. Um, this is when, you know, the Aces are, they can be new beginnings. They are linked to offers and opportunities. This can be about emotional renewal when you find balance. Absolutely Capricorn. And we all, you know, it's a message for all of us, not just on an individual level right now. But the Aces for me as well can be the point in time, certainly the Ace of Cups, when if we have had imbalance or if we have had difficult experience, this is when we own it. It doesn't own us anymore. There's a feeling of oneness from within and without with the Ace of Cups. So it is a beautiful, beautiful energy for that reason as well. But this can link to new friendships, new opportunities that bring you joy, new pets, um, new... I mean, you know, there could be opportunity. Like I said, it could be uh, online. It could be to do with um, new connections that some of you might be making. But this is absolutely an internal energy, finding that emotional renewal from within and it is when you find balance when you make peace with your situation and don't allow could be the fear the doubt to pull you apart that is when you allow yourself to flow forward and just be you know carried forward and there is an element that we need to go with the flow collectively at the moment it doesn't stop you focusing and taking action to your hopes dreams and wishes sometimes i see this card as the internet as well there could be opportunities on the internet, could be in terms of love, 
yeah or sometimes this can be an offer or an opportunity that you might be searching that brings you joy and happiness Capricorn so yeah I love these cards for this reading this is you know your hopes dreams and wishes the potential of something is hanging out there in the ether but you have to take action you have to trust your intuition the ace of cups is a highly intuitive energy trust your intuition to really make choices now decisions take action towards something that is going to bring you real happiness something that is going to the beginnings of something beautiful emotionally uplifting Capricorn so it's a powerful energy it could be new love for some of you new love coming into your life could be with a Sagittarius and it comes after closure the three of cups I sometimes see as moving on drawing a line into something and moving on emotionally from a situation that has ended and I feel for some of you the death card is about shedding an old skin something has ended there is a finality to this there is a roadblock it's kind of like you can't go any further <laughs> with the death card it is a card of Scorpio it is a time to shed an old skin and step into your light uh, release what is gone and this could be the an end of uh, it could well be um, past relationships could have been something ended in terms of um, career opportunity you know I mean all of these kind of things it could be Capricorn um, but I feel for some of you your challenge is to move on emotionally from a situation that might have been difficult to get over because the death is a major arcana it is a major ending in your life it's a major closure in some respects and I do feel this is about you finding closure and moving on to new beginnings making peace with the situation and allowing yourself to carry be carried forward to new opportunities because it is saying new opportunities are ahead of you now you may have gone through a tower moment on a personal level that has been difficult to to get past you know this is about feeling the burdens on the journey feeling the weight the pressure uh, struggling to make space for the new in some respects Capricorn uh, the tower this is a square tower this is your round crown square peg round hole something didn't fit anymore this is the universe striking down this tower and as soon as this tower is tested it, it is raised to the ground because it wasn't built on solid foundations it wasn't built to stand the test of time something didn't fit anymore and something needed to change and this is a wonderful card of you being realigned to your path forward but while you're while you're carrying all the burdens of whatever this deep change was Capricorn you know you're not opening up to the beautiful opportunities that are in front of you right now about making space for the new the ten of wands is a ten allow endings to happen this is your challenge draw a line under a situation and um, however difficult because I feel for some of you there are better things ahead and inhibited thinking will just keep you stuck that is the eight of swords um, sometimes this can also be where we're trying to move on so quickly and we're looking in so many directions to move forward that we still remain stuck <laughs> um, so it can be one of those two areas in particular Capricorn but this is a nice message that good things want to come into your life this is Jupiter in Gemini so that Jupiter that Jupiterian energy which links to the temperance card here the card of Sagittarius it is about opening up to the flow of life and I feel for some of you it is to do with your mind as well opening up release from these burdens that are clouding your judgment and confining your inner space in order to move forward because that's when for some of you you find that big chef for sh shift forward or a chef forward <laughs> and everything becomes clear you understand the decisions choices you need to make and this is somebody who has rising ambition to achieve to move on to go for new goals opportunities visions now and make them happen and for some of you this is the beginnings of growth new growth in your life having put a challenge behind you or a block 
Now the wall behind you, this, this child and this horse, because it's like this child and this horse walk through this wall. Um, it can be our own inner walls, our own inner demons, our own inner limitations that we need to push past. I mean, we have Saturn and Sagittarius here, our own inner, our own limitations that stop us from opening up to new experiences. It can also be in your external world, moving on, making peace, because the Two of Cups can also be about reconciling, making peace with a situation or a person in your external world and moving forward with everything becoming clear. When the sun comes out, it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful wake, awakening from within. Everything becomes clear in your internal space. You open your mind up to new possibilities. You suddenly see the direction that you need to go. You find your natural power. And this is the journey for you to come into your natural power. Healing from what's gone. The timing is now. Perfect timing. Um, because it's almost kind of like you're being guided by God, the Divine, the Universe. And the path that you have been aligned to, out of love, I feel for some of you, you're finding it and moving forward. This child and this horse find direction and they understand where they're moving towards, what they want and how to get there. There is full wisdom with this child, even though it's naked. So it's a beautiful, beautiful energy. Now this can link to new growth. If it's new relationship, it's the beginnings of a budding relationship that can grow. If it is a new opportunity, it could be in terms of business, career. This is a very good card of material success. But what the, what the sun is, it's a card of good news. It is a card of everything slowly will get better when, and we all do it, sometimes we need to get out of our own internal space and allow ourselves to liberate from that in order to move forward. You've got two cards of liberation, the death and the sun card here. You know, the sun can be as much about letting go. The death card is an ending. Draw a line into something to make space for the new. Yeah. So powerful, powerful energy. I feel there is absolute new growth here. And the timing is now Capricorn. So interesting. And we all feel there are things that we that are beyond our control right now, collectively, don't we, Capricorn? But there are still things within our control. You know, life just doesn't stop because we're physically restricted. And I feel that's what, you know, our inner world doesn't stop because we're physically restricted. Yeah, I mean, when I see the moon energy card, there's a deep message here of trust your intuition. I do feel for some of you, you are being guided here. Surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. Yeah, and I feel you're getting that peace of mind. And that's when everything becomes clear. Your direction becomes clear. Towards new growth here, Capricorn, and being in your power. Lovely reading. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you, Capricorn, and I will see you next time. Thank you.